What is going on guys? Welcome back to another Albion Online video. Today we are starting something that I think is going to be very entertaining to do and it's also going to help me out a ton through basically progressing all of my series that I have on this channel. As you can see right now I actually have 32 million silver on my character as you can see right here. The reason I have 32 million is because I was able to sell a battle mount for around 26 million and you guys can probably check that out last episode which was my mount collection episode where I just basically show the mounts that I was able to buy for you know last week and we're able to sell that mount for 26 million. So this series that I'm starting here this episode you can say is me trying to basically flip this amount of silver into I I mean I don't necessarily have a goal I could say like 50 million maybe 40 million but actually the end goal is to try to flip this silver stash here into as much as I can so hopefully a billion maybe a little bit more I know it's gonna take a long time a couple episodes um, but I feel like this will be very entertaining and I also very much like the aspect of the market flipping and the markets in Albedo Online I think that's what drives my passion for this game the most which is just trying to get as much silver as possible so just welcome this is episode one let's go ahead and try flipping all this silver to as much as we can so the first thing I want to try out is actually focus refining. As you can see, we have 30,000 focus points, which means you can pretty much do a lot of focus refining. And I think I found a pretty good market to do this. So the first thing I actually want to do is get myself an ox. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a very high tier ox, maybe like tier four should be good. Because what I want to do is buy a bunch of resources here in Fort Sterling and then transport them to Theft Fort so I can refine the ores because I do get a boost for doing that. And what I'm going to be doing is actually going to be crafting some rare runite steel bars, which is actually point two, and it's going to be the runite steel bars. Um, so let's just do steel. So it's currently selling at 18,999. And I'm going to be able to craft, I think, around 100 of them. And then it's going to cost me, if I look at this, it's going to cost me around 1.2 million. But I'm going to get a 281,000 silver return using my focus points. So let's go ahead and do that, which is buying everything and transporting it all the way to Theth Fort. So I actually decided to switch kind of our project here and we're moving into the tier 8.2 ore that we're going to be refining here. So I'm going to head all the way to Theth Fort. So I actually have kind of a way that I don't have to confront any red, uh, red zones, which is pretty good because I don't want to lose all this. This is actually, if we look at this roughly, I'm going to say like 2 million worth of these resources which is kind of insane um but after i find these using my focus points i'm going to be able to um, get roughly 50 of them and then maybe with the resource return rate because i'm you know moving it to death forts i'm going to be able to get a little bit more and then i'm going to go ahead and sell it and we'll see exactly how much we made through this transaction that we're doing here just like that we made it very safely here into that fort very easy actually trading between the outer cities is actually not that hard because there's a bunch of yellow zones and the chances of you getting knocked down on a yellow zone it's pretty slim so there's actually if you come here there's actually a couple that are 20 percent usage fee which i think if i correctly oh there's actually 10 percent right here so I'm going to head to this location here and start to refine all of these resources. I know I think I said I was going to get like 50 of them, which I don't think is going to happen. I might get like 40 max from what I'm seeing here, um, but that is going to generate us pretty good profit. So let's go ahead and head there, refine it. And I'm actually want to check how much it sells here on Fed Fort and then check the prices on Fort Sterling. So close, almost got to 40. It's 38, which is actually not that bad. So I am going to head into the Theth Fort marketplace to check the prices. And then if it sells for more, minus well sell it here. And if it sells more in Theth Forts, which I think was around like 90 something thousand, 91, maybe 90 thousand. Um, if it doesn't, whatever. So let's go ahead and check the prices. All right, so let's see if we do a sell order. It sells for 80, which is actually a bit less than I think in Fort Sterling. But as you can see, even if we sell it now, we definitely made some profit because we only spend at 2.579 million and we are getting 
six, seven, if we sell it here. But if we check the price, if this is like 90,000, we're going to be getting so much silver. So let's go ahead and check the price on Fort Sterling. Make sure, I think I'm going to get naked and travel to Fort Sterling. So I don't have to make the, you know, the big walk just to check the prices. And I just want to see if not selling here is still going to give us quite a lot of cash. So let's go ahead and do that as well. And as you can see, it sells for 9,997 and it actually has a bigger volume here than on Theft Forts. So even if I want to go purchase some of them in the Theft Fort market, I'll be making like four or five thousand per adamant that I bring here. But I don't think I'm going to be doing that. So I'm going to head back. Also, I want to just let you guys know that I kind of spent all of our focus. So we're not going to be able to do focus refining anymore. For the, you know, the rest of the episode, maybe in a couple days, we're going to come back and do that. So let's head back. I actually have a mount that I want to pick up there as well and head back here. And I think I'm going to sell my ox as well. And I think we're going to go into Fort Sterling, sell it, and then go all the way back to Carleon because that's where I'm going to be making the bulk of my money for this episode. Boys, if you really want a tip on how to transport resources as best as you can and as safe as you can, make sure and make sure to invest in a spectral dire boar holy crap like it's actually insane you go really fast you have pretty good carrying capacity and you're able to go invisible anytime something attacks you so let's say something like this attacks me i can go invisible and they'll just kind of ignore me for quite some time so when someone's ganking you make sure you go invisible go the opposite way try juking them and as you can see we're going at pretty pretty good speed here um so good thing that i had this spectral dire boar there in Theft Forts for me to get. Our orders are up and we are going to be making 3.35 million silver. You can check it right here, 3.35 million silver. I'm gonna go ahead and calculate exactly how much profit we have made from literally this first 10 minutes of this video. And it looks like we are in profit 760,149 silver. So almost a million made by using our focus points throughout. It actually took us like 10 minutes to do this, uh, especially once we got to the Spectral Dire Board, we were going uh, Mach 7 through all those zones. So already almost a million in this video. Let's actually head into Carleon because I think I want to either cook or see if I can do something in the black market. It, maybe I haven't done the black market in a couple months so let's go ahead and head over there right now let's dial it down just a bit and try doing some simple fish bait so if we do simple fish bait it actually sells for around uh, 382 and if you look at the recipe it just takes one earthworm and if we check the earthworm prices it's only 217 so there is a big gap between earthworm and simple fish bait so I think I'm gonna be able to craft 500 or so which is going to cost me 182,000 and I'm going to be able to make 68,000 if you really want to get like rich in this game don't like put off these small trades here like 68,000 might not seem like a lot if you have something like 29 million but it's going to help you out in the long run so I'm going to go ahead and buy as many earthworms as possible and I'm going to you know basically cook them make them make them basically into the simple fish bait that takes a long time to craft all of these simple fish baits. I think it was literally 10 minutes to do that, which is kind of insane, but I think we can go ahead and sell it. And that made us 60,000 silver, which once again, don't sleep on that small trades. You're going to be able to compound all of that silver later on. So if we go ahead and sell it, we will see that we uh, are going to sell it for 186,000, which is kind of our predicted, which we're going to make 60,000 um, from all of that fish bait cooking that we did there so let's go ahead and create it there we go and now the next thing that i want to do is kind of try black market flipping just a little bit i'm gonna give it a try maybe 20 minutes if you know i can't find anything then it's just doomed because i know it's been a tough time here in carleon with the black market because you know as you can see there's only like 79 players here on carleon so let's go ahead and try it and i actually have a large amount of silver which means i can actually probably do the big tradings here as well so uh, i'm gonna go ahead and look for one and see if i can make some cash it's actually so sad it's just almost impossible to do this kind of flips. I actually try checking as much as I can tier 8, tier 7. And I think the only way to start making money in the black market these days is if you are a crafter and you have high spec. And you're just getting cheap resources from other cities 
bring it in here to Carillion and start crafting with the black market, which is actually a business that I might be looking forward to making, maybe in another video later on, just basically transporting as much resources here in Carillion and then becoming a crafter and then just keep fulfilling the black market because, you know, it's good and it's bad, right? It's bad because the flipping is pretty much impossible. However, since there's not a lot of people here in Carillion, the black market needs, you know, people to fulfill these orders. So if you're a crafter, you're going to make money because there's not a lot of flippers, which used to take a lot of the profit out of the black market. So make sure to stay tuned to this channel. If you want me to start that business, I might do it in a video in the future. Our next endeavor is cooking some 6.1 potato salads. And the total investment is going to be 1,407,000. And we're going to be able to get to 274 thousand silver in return so um you know pretty good return that's actually like a i'm gonna say close to 10 percent return there so the first thing we're gonna need is actually 450 basic fish sauce which is gonna kind of be hard but i'm gonna try to be able to get as many fish sauce as i can see here and then we're gonna need a cabbage as well as a couple potatoes and let's go ahead and craft very weird. I think the Excel sheets that I'm using aren't necessarily putting out the right amounts of resources that I need because I am overboard 119 basic fish sauce as well as I'm kind of short on cabbages or potatoes. So either they change how much you need per potato salad or something's wrong or the Excel sheet is wrong, but we're able to craft 50 of them. And I think I'm going to get the rest. I'm going to get one more batch because I think it's 90 basic fish sauce for just 10 of the potatoes. So I'm going to go ahead and get just enough to create 10 more of the potato salads so we can go ahead and sell them off. Well, let's go ahead and sell the 60 potato salads that we created here. And if we do a sell order, you're going to see that's 1.7 million. And we actually spent not that much let me actually go ahead and calculate exactly how much we spent doing this before i actually create the order so we can have the actual profit of this video so after calculating everything we spent 1.5 million for all the resources to craft these potato salads and we were able to get 238 thousand silver return as well as a 19.4 profit so that's our profit percentage there so if we go ahead and sell this uh, as you can see it's currently 238,000 in profit but it's going to be roughly around 300,000 because once we create the sell order we can also sell all of these basic fish sauce that we were able to get because of the resource return rate and if we sell that that's going to be roughly another 99,000 so if we create that in total we made roughly 303 thousand silver which makes it that this whole entire video which has been roughly an hour because at the beginning of the video i think it was 3 320 330 when we started and it's 449 so it's like an hour and 20 minutes that we've been doing this we have made 1 million 123,307 silver from just one hour of just going back and forth between cities i know we could have done a little bit more productive and i think in the next video where we're going to get more into um, a lot more crafting which was what i kind of set off to do uh, for this entire series i'm going to be making more silver as time goes on but for this video we made you know a lot of money we were able to turn pretty much like 32 million to um roughly 34 because i think it was 32.9 32.8 let me actually go ahead and check uh 32.3 million silver that we turned into 34 million which is pretty good so i'm gonna end off the video right here let's go ahead and sell all these cabbages and potatoes as well um, just to keep them there with that being said i hope you guys enjoy this video i'm gonna be keep keep doing this um as much as i can trying to flip all of these silver stash right here uh, i do want to get into investing in gold let me actually go ahead and check the gold prices it is pretty it's pretty low if we check the four weeks it has been going up i could have invested back here like 21 days ago but I might put my silver into gold just to keep it away from just being silver because I might get some money by just, you know, putting it into gold. We'll see what we do next episode. With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later on my next video. Peace.